Hello everyone and welcome back. How are you today? So for those who don't know me yet, my name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm Grandmaster and I'm playing already 22 years chess. You know, it's just unbelievable that I'm here with you and I opened my YouTube channel for you guys to have some community here that we can just learn and improve in chess. So today we will see the fourth chapter of our very interesting course about the amazing Knight of Chess opening for black. So I can assume that you noticed I put the chapter number above and I'm trying to insert the subtitles uh, so that it would be easier for you to understand my very, very good English, of course, and to be with me. So come on, sit back, relax, and get some popcorn because it will be some fun here. So this game I played against Boris Maryasin in the Israeli league for after, you know, four and a half years ago. So yeah, it was far away for me. But I remember this day because, you know, on every game that I'm playing, I remember it so much. So, yeah, it seems like it was yesterday. So, e4, c5, um, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes, knight takes, knight f6, knight c3, and a6. And I know, you know already, from the dreams, you can realize this is the knight of variation. And we talked about bishop to e2, we saw some lines e6, e5, and also we saw that if he's playing the move h3, I recommend you to play e6 with g4, knight fd7, and you will attack uh, in, the king, in the queen side, and the white will attack in the king side, right? So it will be like we are castling in the king side, white will castle in the queen side, and it will be like racing attacks we must do it first to win this game so it's very important to understand you know like the flexibility of every variation and also to realize how can you play you know slowly improving and when you must do it as fast as you can so in this particular game he played the move f4 and also this one is very very tactic right right it seems like white is maybe wants already to push e5 maybe queen f3 bishop e3 castling e5 is playing a very active move f4 and now we are playing the move e5 knight f3 and i know this is only the beginning but you can stop the video now and think by yourself which move do you prefer to play with black because white is threatening to take this e5 spawn two times right and also to take the queen of course and another thing that white wants to do is to play bishop to c4 and this diagonal will, will be very very strong for white because d5 square is a weak square for us so the move is queen to c7 it's very important to understand and to remember this one because you are also uh, defending the e5 pawn also going from the d file and also preventing from playing bishop to c4 so he's playing the move bishop to d3 and of course this is a theory so bishop e7 castle castle and king h1 and i think the point for white is that he wants to play queen e1 f takes queen g3 knight d5 bishop h6 knight h4 you can see that all of his pieces are coming to the attack and it's must you know you must play very fast uh, and also to prevent some ideas for white so the move here is to play the move knight bd7 why because the plan is to bring the knight to c5 this pawn on e4 is a weak pawn you want also to play the move b5 b4 with bishop b7 and to attack this e4 squ square of course right so knight c5 is very tempting for the knight uh, from b8 so he's playing the move a4 of course we understand just uh, to avoid from b5 move knight c5 and queen e1 and i think in my uh, preparation for this game i saw this position on the board and after rook e8 i think that uh, i finished my uh, preparation for this game because okay it's it's very complicated position and but you know it's it's a chess game you just um, you're just doing your your best and trying to to do a great moves and uh, maybe to win the game but of course don't forget when you are playing with black pieces the first um, target 
is just to equalize the game because if we're playing with the black pieces to win the game it will not happen right because we are we are starting the game one move uh, um, down so yeah you must think about equalize and if we can manage something more let's do it but but the psychological view you need to equalize the position so he played the move knight to h4 as you already know white is just you know trying to attack because if he's not attacking me the um the uh, uh, the, the strategic point here is that i have a very good squares for example the e5 square will be very strong for me the bishop on d3 makes not so good work my knight is good here and you know in the in time perspective i have a very good position because the c file also and if i manage for example just to remove all the pieces from the board i have a very good end game okay so i must you know to defend myself not to uh, to bring white the opportunity to to attack me with all this power so in this position i realized that white wants to take this pawn on e5 d takes e5 and bishop g5 with some threats of bishop takes knight d5 knight f5 queen g3 the rook is coming so it's very scary so i'm playing the move e takes f4 my point was that after bishop takes f4 i'm playing the move bishop to e6 I'm bringing the bishop, I'm uh, thinking about the d5 square and maybe the next move will be knight fd7 and knight e5 because this e5 square is so important for black. You can see that this knight on e5 is doing just everything on the board. f3, g4, d3, c4, c6, g6, f7, f7. also protecting this f7 really important uh, square of course, knight e7. You know, this e5 square in Nidov is, you know, like it's, this is our king, okay? So you must think about this square because it's very important in every variation in Nidov. So bishop e6, and now we're playing the move knight to f5. And now I realize that, okay, I know that my last move was my, with my bishop, but after knight f5, I thought, let's, you know, let's comp uh, uh, compare the, this bishop with this knight so this knight is doing just tremendous work here this d6 pawn the g7 pawn the bishop on e7 but this bishop i don't know if it's so good so i just replace it takes on f5 e takes f5 and in this position you can stop the video and think by yourself what is my plan here which move do i want to play right so i will tell you right now the move that i want to play is d5 with some knight f4, bishop f6, a rook a d8, but I cannot do it because of the pin. So the move is queen to c6. And in this position, I realized that I have a very good position. This bishop on d3 is doing nothing. This rook on f1 is doing nothing. And my rook will be good here in this e file. And it seems like my uh, pieces are doing, you know, more than fine here. And I have some perspective for the pieces so as you can see he played the move queen to d1 i played d5 with maybe bishop d6 maybe knight f4 and yeah it seems very logical he played the move bishop to e5 and now i thought to myself which piece is not involved into the game and i realized only this rook so let's bring it up rook a d8 um, and every piece here just working great queen f3 and i'm playing the move knight f to e4 my point here also uh, to attack from the, you know to maybe in some ways knight d2 will have some fork here and also bishop f6 because after i'm repl replacing these two bishops my, my position will be just uh, incredible because this bishop is bad piece and I will have like two knights against knight and bishop and my pieces are doing great and this bishop for now is doing you know a good walk for white so we're playing the move rook a e1 and now I go for it uh, I go for a very uh, scary little bit but you know the tactic one so I think overall bishop f6 was maybe a better option for me to play because after bishop takes f6 knight takes f6 and this position you know so much troubles for white this pawn on a4 is weak bishop on d3 just 
you know, he, he doesn't know what to do with himself. And you know, in the in in the in the long perspective, it's just a winning end game. So I think Bishop F6 uh, in uh, in uh, psychological and also um, you know positional move is very very strong. And I think that Bishop F6 was the best move in this position. But I thought only about tactics. So Bishop H4 with double attack also. The, the bishop on e5 and also the rook on e1 is threatening. So you're playing the move queen g4 and now, you know, I, I thought everything in my head and I come to a um, solution that I'm playing queen h6 with also threatening the, the, the rook on e1, of course, the bishop on e5 and also knight f2 check. So bishop g7 and now I, I saw all of this in my head, of course, in the calculation. It's very important to calculate every, everything, but knight f2 rook takes f2, rook takes c1, rook f1, and now very important move, queen to g5. And the point in that after queen g5, of course, the queen is under attack, the bishop is under attack, this bishop is under attack, and also the rook is somewhere hanging here. So queen g5, just rook takes f1, check, intermediate check, don't forget it, bishop takes, bishop g5, and this position is just a game over for white, bishop d4, knight e4, you can see that in the knight of there are a lot of, you know, tactics, a lot of calculations, so, you know, I really recommend you to, um, to practice on it, to do puzzles, to do tactics, uh, you can just talk with your coach and say to him, send me some tactics, send me exercises, I want to develop my uh, calculation skills. So I'm playing the move g4 now, bishop f6, as we already talked about, this bishop is very strong, and where, when we are just um, remove it from the board, it's just a game over. So bishop takes f6, knight takes, bishop g2, rook e8 was played, bishop f3, rook e1 check, king g2, and now I'm playing the move rook to c1, g5, rook c2 check, king g3, knight e4, knight takes, takes, bishop takes, rook b2, and yeah, f6, rook b4, rook, bishop d5, b5, a5, rook d4, bishop a2, b4. And my opponent resigned this position. And I won the game four and a half years ago against a very strong international master, Boris Maryasin. So ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget, it really helped me like the video and subscribe my channel and if you missed it don't forget to see this video okay oh no 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 i know it's not here it's here so this video number three in our part three of the tutorial so don't miss it out it's very interesting game so bye bye see you soon Woo, bye bye